Rule number three is to eat slowly and stop when no longer hungry. Eating slowly is probably the most important of all of the rules. It's so critical to getting a good result that I want you to become obsessed with eating slowly. Eating slowly comes in two parts. It means chewing well and it means waiting after you have swallowed to allow the food to go through. I want you to enjoy the food and to enjoy it you need to taste it, consider its textures and flavours and that means chewing it well. But also I don't want you to swallow any lumps of food. I want you to break the food up in your mouth into small particles so that you never swallow a lump. If you can't break a piece of food up and it stays as a lump, I don't want you to swallow it. You have to spit it out. But generally, if you pick the right foods, you can break them up into small particles within the mouth by chewing them very well. Think about it, take your time, enjoy the food as it's in your mouth, and then when it is broken up into small particles, you can then swallow the food. Now, it's important to understand what happens when you do swallow the food, because it will pass from the mouth down the esophagus down to the band. Before you had the band, it would pass down the esophagus by a series of squeezes that the esophagus does. It's a muscular tube and it squeezes the food down, a process that we call peristalsis. This squeezing will take the food down to the lower end and then it will go straight into the stomach because there is no resistance if you have no band there. But when you have a band there, the food will go down to the lower part of the esophagus and then it will have to get squeezed across the band. And let's look and see how this is happening. This shows a bite of food passing down and being squeezed across. And you can see that squeezing or peristaltic waves trying to get all of that bite across. And it's taken, in this case, three squeezes to get it across. We know from our studies it will take between two and six squeezes to get a single bite of food, a bite of food that you'll have the size of an oyster fork, that you've chewed well, you've swallowed, it'll still take between two and six squeezes to get that across the band. That takes time. We know that it takes between 30 seconds and 60 seconds for that to happen. And I don't want you to swallow any more food until that one has gone through completely. And therefore, I want you to wait a minute. After you take that small bite of food, after you chew it properly, you swallow it, you put the fork down, and you wait a minute. And by a minute, it should be gone through, and then you can have another bite. I don't want food building up above the band at any time because that will stretch that area and then you will lose that sensitivity that's so important. We'll watch that coming through again. See how it squeezes it across, then takes it a bit more, squeezes it across, and then finally it'll get it right across. If you take too big a bite, this is what happens. Instead of using that oyster fork, you've used a large fork, and you see how it stretches that area out? We don't want that stretching. If you stretch that area, it will start to lose the sensitivity that it wants. It'll lose the ability to squeeze the food across the band, and then you can start to get into trouble. So, you must only have the amount of food that you can get on a small fork or a small spoon. If you eat more than that at any one bite, there is a danger that you would stretch it. The other thing you can do that's bad is eat too fast. If you eat too fast and the second bite comes down before the first bite has gone through, you can see again that you've stretched that area. And that stretching will mean the brain is getting fewer of those signals from those nerves that I showed you earlier. 
and the ability of the esophagus to squeeze the food across is reduced and the effectiveness of the band is therefore reduced. So be very careful about taking too big a bite, be very careful about eating too quickly, always eat a small amount of food slowly. The last part of that rule is to stop when no longer hungry. Each time that food is squeezed across the band, it's sending a signal up to your brain saying, everything's getting pretty good down here. Now, if for one bite you have three or four squeezes, and if you have 20 bites, you're getting 60 to 80 squeezes signalling to the brain that you're doing pretty well. Usually by that time, your satiety centre in the brain, the centre that controls your appetite, says everything's good and is telling your brain you're no longer hungry. Listen to that, respond to that and stop eating. You shouldn't need to eat for longer than 20 minutes. I certainly don't want you to eat for longer than 30 minutes, but for most meals you should find that one bite a minute and 20 minutes is enough. So don't ever expect to be full. You'll only get that feeling of fullness when you stretch something, and that's wrong. Always be listening for the signal that you're no longer hungry. That's what we want you to listen to, and that's what we want you to respond to. Never, never look for the signal of fullness.